Hello and uh, in this tutorial we are going to learn everything about Angular routes. We'll create a couple of routes. Uh, we will also look at sub routes and also redirecting routes. So if you let's say call a URL that doesn't exist, it should uh, redirect to home page or you can intentionally redirect uh, to certain routes. And welcome to Texas Tutorials. Before we start, let's see what we're, what we're going to create. So we're going to create a page where you have uh, three routes. You have home. So if I click on home, it should say home. If I say about, it should go to about page here. If I say user, it will go to user list page and you will have two users, John and Peter. You can have more, it uh, doesn't matter. But if I click on here, John, it should have a sub route and it should open a user page. If I click on Peter, it should do that. Also, if I don't provide any route, it should go to home page automatically. And if I put some garbage route, something that doesn't exist, it should go to home page as well. So this is what we're gonna do. <clears throat> Let's start by creating an app. So I'm going to use um, Angular CLI. If you don't know how to do it, I have a tutorial on it. I'll provide a link here. Um, you can simply do ng new and the name of the application. So this would be ng5 um, create, I don't know, route, routes. Okay. All right, so it has successfully created the project. So now all I have to do is go inside the project, cd ng5 and create route so I'm inside the project but before I do anything let's just create four components so we already know that we need to have a home component about component users list and user itself so for that I'm also going to use angular CLI so I'm going to say ng gc g means generate c means component and the first would be home the second should be NGGC about. Third would be NGGC user list. And the last would be NGGC user. Now let's all open the project. So for that, I'm going to use Atom. And if I say Atom dot, I use Atom editor. I like it, but you can use, but you can do something else. You would see here in the source file, it has created four components for us and it would have if you look at the HTML it would just say about works or home works you know simple stuff now let's set up the routes and the routes are going to be set up inside the app module and inside the app module I already know that it has the CLI has added all four components that I just created and it has in the ng module decorators uh, it has declare all the four components uh, you don't know if you, you don't know what the decorators are i have a tutorial on it i'll provide a list well, basically it sets the initial property for you so here i would need import the router so i'm going to say import router module and routes from uh, it's going to be the angular routes library so angular slash router and this library is available if you look at the package.json you would see here angular router the version 5. all right so we have it next thing is to config configure this route so for that we're gonna have to have an object that would have all the the routes information that we need to set up we're going to call it app routes and it's going to be type routes since it's a typescript you have to provide the type and it's an array and each item in the array is going to be the route configuration for each route so let's think of this way so you want to create home route first so if i go 
application path slash home, it should go, it should open the home, com home component that we just created. So for that, the syntax is very simple. You just need a path, which path you are going to go and which is home. And then what component do you want to open? So component should be home component. We already have home component here. The second thing is if I want to do same thing with about. All right, let's just use two for now and see how it works. But before I do that, let's put something meaningful inside the inside the about and home component. So if I go to home, first of all, you need to go to app component .html and just remove all the garbage that it insert when I create the uh, using CLI so that it doesn't have anything. And the second thing I want to do is if I go into home component, it says homeworks, I would just remove this. Instead, I would do this. I would have a div um, and it would have class call container. And inside I can simply say, simply do h2 uh, home page. So it looks nicer. The same thing I can do for about page. And this should say about page, user page, and and last but not least, user list. And I can I can style this container. Since we have container class in all the modules, I can put the styles. I don't have to put it individual because otherwise I'll be duplicating. So I would just put style in the root level style.css here. So the container would be have a border, one pixel solid, some gray color. All right, so it's time to compile the project. So if I go to the command line, if I say ng serve dash dash open, it should compile it. All right, it's compiled, but remember, in the app component.html, we don't have anything, so it should not say anything. So we have defined the routes, which is inside here in the app module, but we are not using it. So we need to actually, in the decorator, we need to import the routes. So here we need to say router module. So this is the app routes and that's it. All right, so if I go back to the browser, well, it would still not load anything. So it's working, there's no error, but I don't have a place to load this route. So we need to do something about it. So if I if I go to app component.html, this is I wanna this is where I want to load all the routes. So all I want to do is say the router dash outlet. This is inside the app component.html. And if I save it, this is where it's gonna load the route in the app component.html. So now, oh, it's already loaded. If I do home, it should say home. I only have two routes right now. Now, what if I do this? If I don't have anything, then it doesn't load anything, but I wanna go to the home route. So for that, I can change the app module.ts. And here I can say something like this. I can say if the path is, let's say empty, I want you to redirect to slash home. But for that, I need to provide a path has to match to full. So whenever you redirect, you need to provide this path match full. I don't know why Angular makes life difficult for everybody by creating syntax that is very annoying. So now if I go this, it automatically loads home route even if I don't have anything. What if I just do something like this, like where I don't have this particular route available, it should go to home as well. So I can say something like this. If the path is anything except what I have defined so far, I also need to redirect to home. And remember, if I need a redirection, you need to have a path match equal to four. So now if I save it and type 
some garbage, it should redirect to home. So it works. Okay, now time to create our subroute. So all we're gonna have is a subroute would be user list, and the the list would contain user. So let's create a route called user path user, but it would not have anything inside. It would have children, and the children is nothing but an array where you would define children. The children would have the first path is going to be list. I'm going to call it a list. And when I do that, it would open user list component. So now if I save this and do user slash list, it should open this user list component. So let's do that user slash list. It opens the user list page but before we configure the second route let's do something else so inside the app component dot HTML right now I just have this router outlet instead let's provide those three links so that now we can click the link and it should open the router outlet instead of going to the path itself so I'm gonna say ul li and inside I'll have a and I can I don't need this href and I can create three routes, three links. The first one's the first one's going to be the second one is going to be about, and then the third one's going to be user. And inside the a tag, I would configure the router link. So when I click on that link, it should go to that route instead of me going to the the URL itself. So the syntax is um, router link equal to, and the second one's gonna be router link is about, and the third one is user slash list. If I save it, I should see this three links. If I click on home, it loads home, and everything works fine, but it looks kind of ugly. So let's add some style quickly. And I'm going to add style to app component.css because that's for that, that component. And it's a long CSS, so I don't want to type it. I'm, you, can, you can get this if I... I'm going to put this project on the Git so you can download it and look at it. So now if I look at it, it added the styles so it looks more presentable. And let's work on the user page. So let's add some users so that we can create a users page. So for that, we can simply go to the users list here, and we need to create some users here, equal to an array, and each user would have simple, uh, let's say name, John, and the second user would be Peter, and the third name, let's say, Judy or something like that. Now in the users list page, we need to add those names. So I'm going to use ng4 for that. So I can create ul and li and inside here I can say I can loop through those users using ng4 syntax and inside I would get let a user of users so users is a, the, the array that we just created so it will provide in the template this variable called user and I can just do simply this user dot name and it should give me all the users all right so I have this three users and when I click on each user I want to have a user page with, which will open inside so I need another uh, router outlet here it's like for the sub route well we need to configure that now so in order to configure we need to go back to the app module and here I have a user list component but it would have children so I can have children again it's an array and it would have the user detail path so I'm gonna call it detail 
but it's not only detail it would you can pass let's say Peter and it should give me Peter's page Judy it should give me Judy's page right so it should pass a parameter here as well so I'm just gonna have a parameter called name and it would render on this component called user component all right but our job is still not in the user list page here I need to provide that router link which would when I click on the each user it should load that route user route user detail route here so remember we created the router link for the app component here we have a router link equal to the name of the route but here we need to pass a parameter so the syntax is a little bit different so the here the syntax is going to be a router link equal to I would have to have a detail first that's a, the name of the route and <coughs> I need to pass a parameter which would be user dot name remember the user is this user right now and I'm just passing the name part here but when the user page renders it needs to have the name uh, passed through so what I would do here is first I need to grab that parameter and the way it will do be done is I'm gonna create a, a name it's gonna be type any and I'm gonna have a subscriber type any because when when I call that page it needs to activate it grab the name so I would also need to import here activated route from at angular slash route you need to set it through constructor the dependency so here I can say private route is activated so now this route is available and on ng in it this dot sub equal to this dot route which is this dot params remember we, we're trying to get the param the name here uh, subscribe have params in the arrow function we would say this dot name equal to param grab the name from the parameters user component so here I can say h3 uh, name is uh, name all right let's see if it works so if I click on a John if I click on a Peter this does this if I do Judy it works it, it's passing the name inside here if I go to about page home page all of the stuff really works so this is how routing works if you have any question do let me know because this is a complex thing and a lot of different syntaxes and again i will provide the link to this project in the description so that you can download it and i hope you learned something from this tutorial and if you did please like subscribe and provide a constructive comment thank you